we are located in Kharkiv region. It's quite close to Russian border, uh, border and uh, you know that uh, 40% of our region will occupy it. We had uh, three different uh, dispensary uh, departments. And after the deoccupation, we found our buildings totally destroyed. You can imagine 40% of population of region without any tuberculosis help, any, any tuberculosis diagnostics. Uh, without anything. Our patients are quite difficult. They are uh, stigmatized at the, at the uh, society. And uh, nobody wants to become a TB specialist in Ukraine. I decided to stay in this reality because I, I saw that uh, many patients uh, need the help. The Ukrainian population is a quite uh, infected. It's, it's uh, quite similar as the, the, the HIV and hepatitis C, but the the, uh, the only change that uh, about 20-25% uh, of TB patients are already HIV infected among our patients. So that's why we have triple infection sometimes. Yeah. HIV, TB and hepatitis C in one person. So uh, we need to uh, ha have a huge knowledge about three different diseases. We are trying to find the ways how to reduce mortality yeah. and how to find new uh, treatment, uh, new diagnostical tools for our patients. Some people spend a lot of uh, time in the cellars all together and nobody knows who uh, who is sick who is not sick nobody cares about that i want to say about one patient uh, we have a uh, uh, congenital tuberculosis uh, small boy uh, he was uh, born uh, at the beginning of war unfortunately his mother died and uh, uh, he spent uh, about uh, one month in the cellar in the cellar of the hospital in Kharkiv. And uh, at, at the age of uh, one and a half months, and uh, uh, right now he is treated in our hospital, his problem is that uh, his mother was not diagnosed, was not diagnosed because of war, and nobody knows why she died. It's uh, one of the examples what's going on here in our region. We have challenges, yes, even in case of war, we have uh, a good uh, team. My colleagues, uh, they are heroes because they are still here.